All right, hello everybody. My name's Sean. This is Backseat Gorilla Productions, and today we are going to be trying to make a mount for this camera right here out of this little tripod right here and leftover GoPro pieces. Guys, I've got a whole bunch of these little GoPro pieces and uh, I think that uh, actually this one right here might be flat enough. So I'm thinking maybe if I can get a little screw piece off of here, mount it onto here and then attach it to the wall over there, you can get a bird's eye view of exactly how I'm playing the Beat Saber game and of course all of the other VR games. So we're going to try it. See if it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. If it does, it'll be great. But in the meantime, let's get down to a top down view and I'll see you on the other side of the cut. Cool. Okay, everyone, so let's get into what all we have. First off, we have this little tripod thing, and uh, we need to get the little swivelly piece off of here. So let's uh, see exactly what we need out of this kit. Um, like I said, I think we need one of these base plates right here. Uh, just one of those should do. So we'll set these off to the side for now. And uh, we'll just uh, put the rest of this stuff back into a zip bag or later use if needed and things and such where does that go it had a screw on it too uh -oh. oh it probably went right in there hmm. the things that you find when you are loading a kit oh go from part say this uh this chinese engineering this is not an official GoPro kit, by the way. This is official Chinese engineering. All right, so I think we can safely remove all of these items out of the way. The whole reason that we're trying to get this camera on that wall over there is so that we can play <laughs> our Vive. Cosmos and overlay uh, the uh, the photo the uh, the video just like they do uh, you know in all the other Beat Saber videos and the like so said I had some extra GoPro parts laying around uh, the not official GoPro parts but uh, you know cheap knockoffs so I don't mind wasting one I also have some other of my favorite things these are uh, command strips right here but my really 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 favorite thing are the command velcro strips uh hashtag not sponsored at all they hold uh 12 pounds per pair so what i'm thinking is i can get this little piece off of here somehow and uh, get that mounted onto that and then uh, maybe mount this to the wall with these so I guess first things first we'll get our handy dandy screwdriver right here and i think this is just just a just a simple screw right here so this will just come out just popped right off okay let's make sure we don't lose this little screw we are probably going to need that all right in fact uh need something to put this in hmm. <clears throat> the can of corn now i'm just uh put it over here in the can of corn all right so we have this piece right here what can we do what can we do it's gonna swivel on it it's 
nice. This means controls the swivel. Okay, so that's neat. So how do we mount this? How do we mount this? The screw is not very long. I wonder about this plate right here. Hmm. Let's take, let's take the legs off and take a look at this plate right here. Uh, it's got smaller screws, so. Flip this around. Whew. Okay, so we had a little bit of a scare with the, uh, the uh, the GoPro there, it looked like uh, it had cut off recording for some silly reason, don't know why. But I gotta get these little screws out of here. You know what? This chair lower down? Yeah, I'm just gonna lower this chair down, make my life a little bit easier here. So, that'll just come right out. Hopefully, yep. stubborn. There we go. Alright, so these legs are just pop right off. Now we got this one right here. So we'll take it off. Yeah, like such. Oh, it just wants to hang on for your life but all right so now we have this mounting plate so how can we do this really doesn't make much of a difference how we do this so for this Okay, all right, so the first thing that we're going to have to do is get rid of that entirely. I think I just want to fill this entire thing up with Gorilla Glue and mount it here. So I want to mount it on this side right here. I think I do. So I want to get this as flush as possible. This middle part's actually not too bad. Uh, it'll actually fit in the side here pretty easily. Pretty easily. Let's see if we can get a better view. So it'll fit in there pretty easily and it won't slide in and out. So I think I just want to grind down that middle part right there so it's totally flat. And then uh, just, uh, use some uh, Gorilla Epoxy, <laughs> not sponsored again, but uh, the Gorilla Epoxy, I'm gonna give that a shot. But first, I'm gonna do a tablecloth swap out because, you know. All right, so on further thought, I'm thinking, that I am actually going to put this back in here and attach that screw maybe the other way yeah maybe like that well 
No, because it's hanging out too much. Hmm. What do I do with that piece? I'll set the piece down someplace. What if I get that on there flat? And I think that would work. Pretty good surface area. Let's we'll see if that screw will fit in flat that way. It's long enough. No, it's not long enough. Crud. That's the whole problem in this situation. Is this little screw isn't long enough, and I don't have time to go to the hardware store right now. And they're closed, so. Entirely. Oh, easily. So we have to have a way to clamp that down. Stay put. Put a little glue back on there. Put a little glue on there. the clamp just want to make sure that one it will fit and it'll stay and <laughs> not looking good but maybe maybe if I turn that down that way maybe now we have a better chance of a grip and stay clamping situation. That's ah, not too bad. Now the question is, will it grip and stay like this? Once we get it in place, of course. Will it grip and stay? I think it will. All right, so that means that we just need to file down the metal until it's flat. Give the epoxy something to stick to. I know it's probably overkill, but better safe than sorry, right? All right, so. sanding later we finally have this 
So it should nicely attach to this. Of course, we want to make the knob accessible. So, where should we place it? Is the question. That's okay, we can always install a ball attachment later. If need be. So, what I will do now is just drill that on. Just like that. Yeah. Okay, so we're supposed to have everything in this little kit that we need. I am going to get paper towel or just the in case and stuff and we're going to read the instructions okay so always follow the manufacturer's instructions written on the back of the box i have just done that so i am going to do something for the first time ever all right so we have Gorilla Glue. I guess this is the uh, the built-in mixing tray right here. This is the built-in mixing tray. In fact, it says so on there. I don't know if you guys can read that. Well, okay. It already smells like epoxy. And I think I'm going to need a lot of it, unfortunately. So, I don't really know how much I'm going to need, but I'm going to mix up a lot of it. So, I need to snap this cap and set away from me. All right, so I'm going to snap the cap and then we're going to let the air pressurize here. So you see there's a bubble on one side that needs to come out. There's a bubble that's got to make its way out. So we'll just wait for that to happen. I forgot to remove the black cap from the middle of the syringe. Oopsies. Alright, now let's make these things even here. Boy, it takes a lot of pressure to get this done. Doing this right? I think I'm doing this right. Whoa, there it goes. Alright, so we still have our little sheet there. Alright, for everything out evenly. Alright, so now we are dispersing evenly and take a bit of I hope I just didn't get a box here take a bit of this rag and clean throw that away and I am just going to kind of go to town in here man I know we need a lot of this stuff fill this hole in here I don't want to overdo it, but certainly don't want to underdo it either. So I'm going to use, I think, probably more than I need. But that will be okay. So now we're supposed to deplunge that just a little bit, taking another piece of cloth, wiping away the excess both sides through the middle and then we align the notches like such oh there's the notch yeah, there's a notch there and a notch there. You have to align the notches. But I think I still need some more back like that. Let's 
clean some more. Clean some more. And why not? And I should hear a click. When it happens. Alright, I heard a click. So this should be good for another go. I have to mix this now. Said for a good 20 seconds. I'm going to guess it might take a little bit longer because I've got so much of it here. I've got plenty of silicone. I probably could have used silicone, but I figured we've got the Gorilla Epoxy. We might as well use it, right? Make this nice and even. All the way around. But we want to see nice and even. Not too many air bubbles. But not too few. Alright, I think we're starting to look good. So I'm going to start filling the gaps here. I'm just going to start filling in. So. Probably not the best idea to be doing this with your bare hands. I know I didn't want to get any on that piece right there. Oh, I hope that's not bad. So I'm going to start filling from the other side. Set this down, kind of, sort of, make it so that I can access that plate on the other side. So, just about like that. Looks pretty good. And there does appear to be plenty of epoxy, plenty of epoxy on the outside. Let's squeeze a little more in there. No, I'm not. There's plenty of epoxy. All right, so we need to clamp this and let it rest for three minutes. Thirty minutes. All right, 30 minutes. So we were down at uh, this stage where we left. We had this clamped. It has dried all the way overnight. But in the meantime, we went to Lowe's. We picked up some stuff um, to uh, try to make another mount uh, for one of those where I want to actually put that camera that I showed you guys earlier, uh, this little Logitech camera. I want it to be up there in the corner next to uh, the thing. So what I've done is I made a little thing. So the base plate is flat. I can put the command uh, adhesive strips on the back. This has just been glued in there. It's been epoxied. I filled the entire thing with epoxy uh, like I showed you. And we've got the swivel right there, which can still be adjusted with this screw for tensioning. So I think this is gonna work out to mount that camera over there on the wall. But the really cool thing that happened in the meantime, while we were at Lowe's, I get this email. 
This email right here says, hello backseat gorilla. Click here to purchase, to complete your purchase. My valve index should be here by the end of the week. So guys, here it comes guys. I'm going to click here to complete my purchase. I'm going to sign in. All right guys, here we go. $999 valve index VR kit purchase for myself. Well guys, it's on order. You know what else that means? That means that this little project right here, I'm not really gonna need it anymore because I'm getting two brand new tracking stations when the valve index comes. So uh, it'll be here in a couple of days. All right, so the last time that you saw me, this was all clamped together. I think I showed you it was unclamped. I've also uh, showed you that it is all nice and epoxied up all the way around. So that's nice. There's a seal all the way around. Uh, the ball joint <clears throat> still moves around freely, which is really nice. And the thumb screw, which I was afraid I got epoxy on, it still works as well and locks things into place, which is awesome. So now, on to some of my favorite things, the command strips. All right, we've got a couple of different kinds to choose from here. We have these right here, which are just the strips. They, uh, they just, uh, you know, attach to the wall and the thing. So it would be just like that and it would attach to the wall. So we're not going to try these. Uh, I think that we're going to try the Velcro version uh, just as kind of a temporary, it was kind of Gorilla glued to the uh, thing there. It's kind of a temporary thing until it, uh, see if it actually works. But yeah, this is cool. This is actually still filled with epoxy right there and it is hard. So shout out to these guys hopefully i'm going to be able to reuse this stuff for another project in the future uh, stuff works pretty good so uh, it does uh say that we should scuff up the back of this thing so i'm just going to take my file and i'm going to scuff up the back of this thing and then we'll get this stuff attached so i know that there's a spot right here move these out of the way there's a spot right in here it has some epoxy on it that I would like to get rid of. We're getting there. We're getting close to not as you know, so far that epoxy's holding, which I'm really happy about. It gives me hope. We're getting there. You know, I think I'm gonna call that good enough. Let me wipe it down here. And uh, let me clean up my little work area as well. Just a little bit Get that out of the way. All right. And we'll wipe this down. All right, so these right here are really cool. So it's just basically like Velcro. You take two of them and then you stick them together like such and you line them up. These are some of my favorite favorite little things in the world. You just punch it down right in the middle and then you work your way out to the edges. So now you have a nice even Velcro thingy. Uh, let's see that one. I'm not quite happy with the alignment on that. So I'm going to redo it. That's the great thing. You can just redo it. It's fine. All right, so we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, we are good all the way down. Give it a final smoosh. All right, now we just give this a wipe down and we figure out which direction we want to mount the adhesive strip. So we have the camera is going to be mounted here. The camera needs to be able to go up and down. 
So it can go up and down on its own. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. So. <clears throat> So, if this is on the wall, then we can pivot up, down, and slightly over. So, if that's on the wall, then that'll be able to pivot up and down and left and right. Now, if we do it this way, we can get left and right even more down. Okay, I gotta think about this. Let's see, that's all we do. Alright, so I think that the best option is going to be mounting it with the this part right here facing up. That way I can tilt the camera in this way, in this way, in this way, in this way can tilt it this way and come down even and tilt it a little bit in both directions. Also, the camera itself will tilt up and down this way and this way. So I think I have enough tilt room if I can just mount it just straight up like this. So these will be going here. All right, here we go. All right, so I put the command strip adhesive on the back of there now. It's time to find a spot on the wall. I think I'm just gonna put it like right there. I've got the tracker here. I think I'm gonna put it there so I get a better shot of down there. So. Press that firmly into place for a few minutes, moments in time. Set that there. All right, I'm gonna let it set for a minute. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put the camera on it. Okay, so it's pretty clear that it's not going to work in that spot right there. So, I think I'm going to move it back over into maybe this area somewhere over here. This is where I had it mounted uh, to begin with, uh, right next on top of my PC. This is where I had it mounted and I wanted it more over here. So I think I'm going to try to mount it over here. I've got plenty of those little sticky pads and uh, yeah, um, we'll give it another shot and try. Okay, so that position right there worked. It was kind of skewed. I don't know if I'll be able to throw some footage in the video or not, but it was skewed. So I am going to try a different method and see what happens. All right, so we currently have the camera mounted over there. We had to do a little bit of remounting and change the thing sideways. We uh, used the command strips and we put them on there horizontally or actually uh, diagonally because of the more uh, better surface area. And um, unfortunately, since we are having to use the adjustment and the pan and the, uh, the tilt on the camera itself, it's just one of those things where, unfortunately, uh, I really just need a specialized piece of hardware, which I've ordered. So it should be here in the next day or two, and uh, I'm going to install that. But in the meantime, that, seems to be working and it seems to be working pretty well for the live streams but uh you know me i bought some more stuff at home depot we're gonna still keep on playing we're gonna get a solution i did buy the proper parts but we're gonna see if we can get this thing working absolutely correctly so yeah i'll see you on the back side of the cut and stuff and things 
It's member shout out time, guys. Thank you so much to the Psycho Ducky, Cammy Blue on the move, Bob Harris, Lil G Streams, Jesse K, Nikki Pink, Ishin to Scratch, Mad JP, Lil V3, and Sun City Scratchers, The V3, Wickaloo, Fantastic Whip, This Fits and Dreamers, Rhinos, Bleh, Rhino Scratchers, Stro Time. I could go on and on and on. I will catch you guys all tomorrow for the next video. See you later, all. Bye.